Hey guys, welcome to another TGAN Productions video. I'm TGAN and today I'm coming at you with my first Q&A video. Now, since I uploaded my announcement for Q&As, I've gotten about 7 questions, which is alright for the first episode, but I want to try and aim for 10 questions per episode, just so it can go for a little bit longer. But without further ado, let's begin on the questions, and these questions won't necessarily be in order. So the first question is from Lego Boy 27 and it is, if ha what if Howard Stark was killed before Tony Stark was born and before the Super Soldier Serum was made? Now, that's an interesting question. So, <clears throat> obviously there wouldn't be an Iron Man and Captain America. And obviously, Captain America is the leader of the Avengers and Tony Stark just makes everything look fancy and gives him upgrades and kind of like the second in charge. So, obviously, I don't think that the Avengers would be together. And with the New York attack... I don't think they would have um, got together and fought the battle. I think it would just be like Thor would be up in in Asgard. I think Hulk would just be still in that country. And then Black Widow and Hawkeye were still in S.H.I.E.L.D. So I don't think the Avengers would have banded together. Or maybe they would have. But obviously it would have been a lot different. And I don't think Rhodey would have been a war machine. So yeah, that's pretty much my take on it. You guys might think differently, but for me, I think that the Avengers wouldn't have been created because Captain America and Iron Man aren't there, so they wouldn't stay together. They would, always, they would probably get together to do a couple of things and they'll break up. But that's my take on it. You might have a completely different take. Next question is from Josh P. What's your favorite Lego set? Now, this is a tough one. Um, I might say the 2012 Batcave. I might not still have it built. But it was my pretty much my first Lego set that I've created. It's, yeah, it was my very first big Lego set that I got. Because I used to get these small little Lego City sets. Like one of these like little small ones. So I have to say the 2012 Lego Batcave. And I just wanted to keep improving on that. Make the custom Batcave. And that's what really got me into Lego Batman. And that. So I have to say the Lego Batman. And then probably Arkham Asylum would be next. This question is from DJ Lego Guy, and the question is, will you do a series from Ninjago and Star Wars? Now, I forgot that that was for the Q&A, so I actually answered it, but I'll say it again now. Um, I'm not planning to do a Ninjago series simply because I'm not a huge fan of Ninjago, so I'm not going to be doing a Ninjago series. But I am thinking of doing a Star Wars series with mainly about Darth Vader, so taking place about a year or so after... Revenge of the Sith, so he's just going to be going around killing Jedi and stuff like that. So that's how I'm thinking of it, and I really want to get Leon from Lego's Talk and Lego Studio 4 to actually come in and help me, since he knows a lot more Star Wars stuff than me. So, yeah, I'm thinking of doing... might do a Star Wars series. Some other series that I want to try and do is a Justice League series, maybe a Marvel series, maybe a Nightwing series, maybe a Tim Drake Robin series, Red Robin, I don't know, something like that. But plenty to do a different series, but at the moment I'm focusing on like a Batman and maybe Star Wars. Alright, so the last three questions from the same guy. So the first question is, where do you see yourself and the channel in five years? So I hope that I'm still doing the same stuff, but the content's better and probably... I don't know, have dip more content, like maybe TV show reviews and stuff. Like, at the moment, I'm not planning to do much big changes because it's. I really see myself continuing this and doing this and maybe doing more minifigures and maybe do a couple videos a day. So that's what I'm hoping. Second question is, do you, can, do you, yeah, do you still plan to continue this? Yes, I do. Um, because I really enjoy making this content. I love doing the movie, game reviews, my updates, my Lego stuff as well. Like, this is mainly a Lego channel, but I love doing the other stuff in between. So, I really see myself continuing, and hopefully I can do more stuff. So, like, maybe TV show series, like, TV, yeah, TV show series, uh, review series, I mean, sorry. Um, maybe gaming, because I really want to do gaming, so maybe add that, do more stuff as well, more Lego stuff as well, so maybe set reviews and stuff, which I might start doing, set reviews, but yeah, and the third question is, and what 
uh, your plans for expansion. Now, I've already done a, a fair bit of expansion, like bringing in the game reviews, movie reviews, updates, Q&As, the contest. So, at the moment, I'm not really planning to do much more expansion for a little while, but hopefully, I, like I said, I can maybe start doing set reviews, so once I get some more sets, I'll actually review them. Like I said, I've got the Hot Toys and Saber Forge coming in, so hopefully I can start getting more Hot Toys and review those guys for you. And the Saber Forge, buy more Saber Forge, lightsabers and review those, do more Lego and those reviews, maybe do a TV show review, uh, maybe gaming, like I really want to do gaming, because I've been wanting to do that before I even started the channel, it's just I don't have an Elgato, and Beto is thinking about not doing the channel now, which isn't actually confirmed he might do the channel, but at the moment it's not sure if he wants to or not. But, yeah, I really hope to do those things, but for the, for the moment I'm just going to stick with these videos, like the little stop motion skits of Batman series, my Lego custom reviews, my game movie reviews, updates, Q&A. So, I'm just planning to do that. So thank you guys for watching my first Q&A video. I hope you got the answers that you're hoping for. Now, uh, like I said at the beginning, seven, or I think I said at the beginning, seven questions is all, is a good start to this, but let's, I just want to try and aim for at least ten questions for the Q&A, just so that way it can go a bit longer and I can go in more detail and stuff like that. So, leave questions below. So, some questions you can ask is for Marvel and DC. Um, what's my favourite? So, like, what's your favourite? Batman characters, for example. What's your favourite Marvel characters? So, stuff like that. Star Wars. Uh, what else? What's your favourite video games? What's your favourite TV series, movies? So, what's your favourite? Again. <laughs> and more questions like that. Nothing too personal, like, uh, where do you live? What's your birthday? Or, like, what's your email? Stuff like that. So, nothing too personal. And nothing inappropriate. But, stuff like... Lego sets and channel and Marvel DC, my fairy TV series, and stuff like that. Like TV series, movies, and video games and stuff. But yeah, keep asking questions and I'll keep answering to the best I can. And yes, yeah, so I just also want to do a little um, giveaway update. I don't think I'll be doing the Stealth Suit Captain America giveaway as the prize. Instead, I'm planning to have three winners. The first winner can actually choose a custom minifigure that they want of their choice. So they can choose the stealth suit of Captain America. They can choose a Batman. They can choose, uh, just say, Spider-Man. Um, anything like that. So any minifigure they want. And I'll make it for them. The second and third winners will get a shout-out in my video. So they'll, for the next couple of videos. So I'll have a shout-out and their links to their channels will be in the comments below if they have one and the first prize winner also gets a shout out for those a couple of videos as well but he also gets a custom minifigure whereas the other two just get the shout out so i i just wanted to be nice so yeah so it's not necessarily going to be the stealth suit of captain america if you if you're the winner let me know what minifigure you would like and i will make that minifigure for you ship it out and you can have a custom minifigure made by me so yeah because some people might not want a Captain America, so it's up to them what they actually want a custom of. So, it's up to you, and yes. So, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and share for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!